The Pharisees made trivial matters the true test of Christianity. I mean, that, whether you washed your hands, whether you walked a certain... Remember, they got on Jesus for all these things. Oh, Jesus, he's not much. He's out there in a cornfield picking ears of corn when he shouldn't be. Right? I mean, he, he healed somebody on the Sabbath. You see, they were so wrapped up in making trivial things the true test of, of Christianity that they missed the whole deal. I mean, they missed the whole deal. And Paul said, no, we shouldn't do that. And Jesus actually said, if you're, see, for them, righteousness was a matter of washing your hands, not healing on the Sabbath, not plucking ears of corn. It was, it was, the true test of spirituality was trivial things. And here's what Jesus said, unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the Pharisees, you're going to burn in hell. He said, they might do a lot of good things, but they're not good people. They might appear to be very righteous, but their heart is far from me. Okay, and so, so to define people's spiritual maturity, but what kind of music they listen to or what kind of style the music the church has or by, by whether someone has a tattoo or drinks a glass of wine or, 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 or what someone wears to church or whether they dance or whether they go to the movies, to define someone's spirituality by this stuff or whether they have a tattoo, that's nonsense according to the Bible. Anyone can modify their behavior. That's behavior modification. Well, I cannot do these things and I can modify my behavior that's what the Pharisees did. Jesus said, unless you exceed that, this is a heart matter, right? So to look at those things that are preferential, man, that, that is absolutely nonsense, he, he says. Uh, anybody can modify their behavior, but spiritual maturity is measured by the fruit of the Spirit. Do you realize that? The fruit of the Spirit. So you got, you got people that want to measure your spirituality by whether or not you uh, wear something to church or listen to a certain type of music or all this kind of stuff. And that's horrible. But then on the other hand, you got, you got some Christians that, you know, believe, well, they measure your true test spirituality and whether you got the gifts of the Spirit, whether you speak in tongues. And Paul said, that's horrible too. That's weak. He said, you know what the true test of spirituality is? The true test of spirituality is the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Are you bearing the fruit of the Spirit? 